Hey guys, so the other day my order from Mossery came in and I got the 2018 weekly planner, so I thought I might just show you what's included. So in regards to the packaging, it came in a bubble wrap kind of sleeve and also the yellow box is really nicely designed. I actually pre-ordered the planner a couple months ago, so I got a little bit of a discount. Um, I, if I remember correctly, it was about $26 USD, and I believe it also came with the free transparent sleeve. Um, I actually bought one, but I kind of ripped it, which is not Mossery's fault at all, that's my own doing. But luckily, they came with another one, so I could use that one instead, which is the one that I'm unpackaging right now. The cover comes with a really nice matte finish, um, and also on the inside here, it tells you how you can put it on. So as I said earlier, the design is really, really nice. Um, although the yellow doesn't really match with the blue or the pink, or the coral pink here, but that's really okay. I don't think they were trying to go for a color scheme as such. For the cover, I don't actually remember the name, but it's the speckled cover, something of that sort. The black appears slightly blue in real life. It's more like a really dark navy. Also the speckles, some of them are light blue, which I wasn't expecting, but honestly it doesn't faze me that much because I'm really happy with how it turned out. Oh yeah, also check the screen for annotations because I'll um, write down what's in the planner if that makes any sense so whenever I go to a new page what's there because I'm not sure if my camera picked up the smaller text. Also a side note, um, I chose the vertical spread for the weekly. Um, you can also choose horizontal but I just wanted to try vertical this year. Maybe next year I might go horizontal, who knows. So here I'm just putting on the um, the transparent cover. It's pretty, it's kind of hard to put on at first just because the plastic's still pretty hard and solid, but after a couple tries, it'll go on fine. Also, if you put the back cover on first, like the instructions say, you'll have a much, much easier time than if you try to put the front cover on first. Also, I forgot to mention, but you can also personalize your name on the cover. Um, I got mine in sans serif rather than in a cursive font. Finally, here are some smaller clips of the most important sections in the planner. So overall, I'm pretty happy with the planner. Um, I still haven't tried out the paper. I might do a video on that later, just to do a review on the paper quality, I guess. Anyways, that's all for the video. If you're planning to buy the planner, I hope you get a product which satisfies you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.